YouTube, it's your girl Diva Dimples, long time no see, I'm still here, I'm still kicking, um, I just have been extremely busy and I want to apologize to all my followers out there, um, where do I begin, I, I, I think I have so much information so I don't want to go in information overload and you guys know that I can probably ramble at times, well I am, well let me start by saying, for you, those of you who don't know my beginning, and I'm quite sure everybody that's watching the videos have saw, saw the first video, um, two years and four months ago, um, on March the 15th, I actually had the gastric sleeve. Um, since then, I've lost 110 pounds total, I think, somewhere in that realm. Um, and as of today, I have been weighing myself, you know, often, sometimes, and um, I'm basically at a plateau. I've hit 150 pounds and I can fluctuate from 150 to 153 depending on what time of the day I actually weigh myself. So basically in all my accuracy of weighing, I, you can just say I'm 150 because that's what I get the most when I'm on the scale. Um, that's not my goal weight. I actually want to be like 140, 135. So I want to lose about 15 to 20 more pounds. My family, my friends, oh, you don't need to lose that much weight. And I think the reason why I feel like I'm still heavy is because of the excess skin. It's not tremendously bad, but it's not what I want it to be. And I know as much working out as you can do, sometimes you can't tighten the skin back up. But I think I did pretty well. But um, I'm having trouble in my thigh, inner thigh area, my arms, and around my stomach, which is the normal places that we have it. Well... Let me give you some information on me. Um, I know you've been following my videos and I always try to give you the truth because like I said again in all my videos, this surgery, the gastric sleeve, have changed my life for the, be for the better, excuse me, but at the same time, don't think it's the cure-all and, and don't think it's like home free because I still struggle with certain things regarding my diet and digesting and things of that nature. Well, for the past month, I think my last video, I think I was doing a video for my doctor. Um, I'm one of his patients that's been doing very well. Shout out to Dr. Lavin at Wowie.com. And I know he's been referring a lot of his patients to my videos. So I hope I give you Louisiana some justice and um, give a shout out to all my new subscribers and all the people that's in Dr. Lavin's office. I did a commercial. I thought it was cute. I had my little 15 minutes of fame, as you were saying. I was proud of it. Um, it feels good to sometimes get... Um, recognition for something that you feel proud about and losing 110 pounds of course I'm just elated um, as I said again I'm definitely at a plateau when it comes to losing weight that's why I really really put that message out to you newcomers when you're one to six months out to push yourself as hard as you possibly can to lose as much weight because when you get further and further out you're going to see the weight going to start tapering off and I've met people over the years that only lost like maybe 50 pounds or whatever because if you don't push yourself in that and really be on a strict diet in that first couple of months you're going to regret not losing as much weight as you could have um, it's just the way the diet works and that's what I did I, I really stuck to the diet didn't get off track like my first six like my, actually my first year um, to basically get the, the, the that large amount of weight off and get that you know first level of achievement but I am happy with where I am. Um, I said to my friend the other day, if I don't lose another pound, I'm so grateful for the surgery. However, the surgery comes with its ups and downs. As you know, and people, as you know, people that's further out than me, you still have problems with, like, I, I guess, which is a good thing, I still have restriction. Depending on what I eat, especially chicken, sometimes I can't, I don't even eat beef or red meats, but sometimes I have trouble digesting food because it still go down hard. You can feel every swallow. It gets stuck just like the other day. I try to stay away from carbs, but of course I try to get the good carbs in. But just say, for instance, I was at a concert the other day and my cousin, she had some fries and I really haven't been eating them, but I was like, hey, two fries, three fries is not going to kill me. So I had the fries and lo and behold, it haven't happened in a while. 
I chewed him like I normally would do it, and it got stuck, and I had to go to the bathroom and relieve myself, and I haven't did that in a while. Well, just like I wanted to tell you guys all the time, this is not a cure-all. You still got to be on point with your exercising, your water intake, your vitamins, you know, eating right, getting, you know, a well-balanced meal in. Um, so it's just a lifestyle change. I know personally what I've recently been doing because I know you guys that's early out can basically understand what I'm saying. When I first started off, I felt like I had to tell everybody, every waiter, every waitress that I had the surgery or like I can't eat that much because I had some kind of stomach or whatever. And I want to get away from that stigma. Not saying that I'm ashamed of having a surgery because I'm not. But I don't have to feel, tell everybody in the entire world that I had the gastric sleeve. If I'm only eating two spoonfuls of my food, okay, I want to take the leftovers home. You know, but I personally have made it a goal to like order my food like normal. I know I'm not going to eat it all, so I eat what I can, take home the rest. I don't have to sit there and say, oh, can I have the kids meal because I had a surgery or whatever. No, you don't have to do that. You know, now people, I eat right and I exercise because that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, but if someone asks me about the surgery, hello, I'm on the World Wide Web, so it's not like I'm ashamed of it. Um, so... It is what it is. So I just want to get away from that. Oh, I have to tell everybody that um, the reason why I'm eating two pieces of nuggets or whatever is because I actually had surgery. Well, I want to get into more details of some of my pros and cons with the surgery. Um, I haven't did that in a while and let you know um, what's been going on with me. Well, actually, let me start from current to actually and I'll go back. Recently, I just came off a vacation. I went to Orlando for a week, and it was a normal vacation. The first day when I was there, I actually had some irritation in my stomach. It just felt like, oh, just some pressure, whatever. I assumed that it was just like, you know, my stomach being upset. I just got really sick, started sweating, got a fever, and I was like, what the hell is going on? The pain was so excruciating in my stomach, it felt like somebody took a knife and just was like burying it in my stomach. And I got kind of nervous because I thought it was like, oh, maybe let me take some gas tests, let me take some milk and magnesia, pelmobismo, you know, we do all the little regimen things, and it was getting worse and worse. I panicked because I thought, oh, I was like, oh my God, two years out and I'm having complications from the surgery. I thought my stomach was going to like maybe open up. I didn't know what was going on. I really thought like maybe the staples or whatever was coming to lose. I'm like, damn, you know, God has brought me this far to, you know, to fail me now. But I was like, oh my God, the pain was that bad. I had to end up going to the emergency room. Well, after this, ran a lot of tests and did x-rays and stuff on my stomach. Come to find out, and this is maybe t TMI, I had, the doctor was like, I had an excruciating case, an extreme case of gas. He says sometimes with gastric patients, you know, you have the gas get caught up in the pockets. And the type of gas that I had, some people even come in the surgery, I mean, come in the ER thinking that they're having a heart attack. I mean, I was literally in pain on my knees, crawling in the hotel, crying, didn't know what was going on, terrified, thinking something was going on with my stomach. But he said my sleeve looks very well, my stomach looks very well, and it was just gas. Could you believe that? So he prescribed to me, I had to give me, he had to give me pain medication to get out of pain, but he actually gave me, um, what he called a GI cocktail, it was like Prilosex and some other little medicine mixed up together to, to form a cocktail to help me out, and sure enough, within a day or so, I felt better. So I said all that to say, we have to still keep up with our health. Of course, eating healthier, eating healthier foods, green leafy vegetables, fiber, fiber, and all that thing, that creates gas. So not only do we have to watch out what we eat, we got to watch out how we eat it and also worry about our insides. So he told me like every now and then, you know, I might want to pop some kind of, you know, like, you know, Prilosec or something like that to help with the gas or Phazion or anything like that on, you know, every other week or something like that just because of the way we eat and then our stomach is so small. So that was um, very um, eye-opening for me as well as paying attention to my health and that was the first time that I had a scare other than the time I went back to, to the hospital at the dehydration. 
Um, of course, like I said again, we have to keep up on our exercise, keep up on our water, vitamins mo most importantly because you don't want your hair to um, fall out and things of that nature. Well, let me tell you this. I was kind of disappointed, and I don't know if I was disappointed in myself or I was disappointed in just the whole process of the surgery and things of that nature. And this is the first time that I'm even sh expressing not disappointment because I'm not disappointed. I, the surgery was the best thing that it can happen to me. But I went to the doctor for you know one of my checkups. I think it was like you know one of my checkups, I guess. And I was just expressing to um, the nurse there that how like um, I'm struggling, that I'm not losing any more weight. I'm a kind of sad about it because I really want to get to a goal where I feel that I've accomplished something. And I have accomplished a lot, thank God for that, but where I feel comfortable in my own skin, if you understand what I mean. Um, so I explained to her that I... Um, Want to lose some more weight? I'm going to pick up the exercise. Really, maybe talk with um, our nutritionist to see, um, and the dietitian is to see if I can actually um, get a plan going to try to monitor. Because I don't do that. I did it in the beginning, but I don't journal my food. And they told me that might be a good thing because they can see what I'm eating. That way, they can cut it out. But during the visit, how, when I was telling them that I was unhappy with my weight. They offered me something. And it just brought me all the way back. They offered me diet pills. I was like, hello? Diet pills? I was like, okay, well, why did I have the surgery? I don't want to get caught up in taking diet pills again. I knew how that was prior to me um, having the surgery. I was on Adipax, so you just name it. You know, I probably tried it and going to the Aspen clinics and all that. And I just felt like, you know, you get that short-term, you know, reward by losing the weight quickly. But then the pills start working and then you gain all the way back plus a little more. So I was saddened by that. And I told her that and she was like, you know, she wasn't trying to do it to like make me depressed. She was just doing it to basically give me another jump start, if you will, and to... Um, I guess to curb my appetite because my appetite has been coming back but I haven't been still eating a lot. I eat very small portions still. So um, I was kind of disappointed in that and I didn't know how to register that in my mind. I'm like, okay, here I am. I went through a major surgery to lose weight. I've lost 110 pounds. I do want to lose a couple more pounds but it's like I'm going backwards because she offered me diet pills. And I guess I'm not sure if you guys heard of this but um. The name of the diet pill was Topamax, and it's actually, and I researched it after I left there, and it was normally used for um, patients for migraines and stuff like that, and I guess over the studies they found out that it helped you lose weight. So I was very, 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 very disappointed, but I still have the prescription in my purse, and I haven't gotten the fill because I feel like I don't want to get to the point where I'm relying on that again and then I just get caught back up in the emotion of you know trying to lose weight and stuff like that I think I'm going to stay on the right track and I know I am not saying I think I am of exercising eating right and getting my body my body is settled now I think it is I think my body is saying hey I like it like this this is where I'm going to stay um, but I'm going to push it I'm going to push it and I encourage you guys to do the same I've been running I've been walking I've been jumping rope, I've been doing Zumba, I've been doing the hip hop experience, I've been doing hip hop abs, I've been doing anything to keep myself moving. I hate the same boring routine, so as you know, I do everything. Now one thing that I don't do anymore, which I need to get back on it maybe, and that can jumpstart my weight loss, I don't remember the last time I had a protein shake. I just got tired of them, I guess. Um, but at the same time, I'm going to do it so that I can get back on track. But I am still watching my intake. I am still eating healthy. I feel great. So with all that said, I don't want to keep rambling. Um, I just want to give y'all support. Um, I'm going to make a video because I have so many questions. And um, for my new subscribers, and hello all my new subscribers. Um, and I want to thank you guys for listening every week of my boring videos. But I have, um, I'm going to make another video 
answering, I'm going to go through all the questions. So if you have any questions, send them to me. Write them all down. Make a video of me answering you guys' questions because I don't want to leave anybody out. Some people are approaching surgery and I felt so bad because it was like, oh, I'm having surgery in two days and can you answer this question? And I just feel so bad that I didn't even answer the question. I'm going to give you guys, because I know y'all want to know how I look, hello, um, a body shot of me because I haven't did that in a long time. And you see I got my long, luscious, ported Justice Janet Jackson brace because I was on vacation. So I'm going to give you guys a body shot of me. Hopefully y'all not disappointed. Okay, hold on. Let me turn the camera so you can see my body. Okay. So this is me, I'm at 150, and I still got a little pooch, and I got still got, um, you know, some areas to work on. I have on a little loose shirt, but as you can see, if I can tighten it up, I got a little dunk, as you can see. But um, this is me, let me get a little closer so you can see, um, 150, and I'm going to lose this area here, I don't have any, any kind of support or anything, this is me. Still got the arms, the butt. So I'm just, you know, trying to keep it regular or whatever. Um, yeah, so this is me. Um, two and a half years. I haven't gained any weight. Fluctuate a couple of pounds depending on when actually I, um, you know, this is like a flowy shirt. Um, any other time I have on some tights. But um, this is me. Um, and I feel great. And I feel wonderful. I feel good about myself. I feel good about my the way I look in my clothes. Maybe not when the clothes are off, but for the most part, I'm happy with the outcome of the surgery. So, with all that said, I'm not going to hold you. I love you guys. Diva Dimples out.